What's up guys, Grass back with another video and today we're going to take a look at the PS5 user interface. So what I just did now is a cold boot. You guys can see that I just did a cold boot for the PlayStation 5 PS icon is the first thing to appear. Obviously the health and safety warnings. And then this is the glorious PS5 screen at load up. First thing it's going to ask you is to press the PS button on your controller. So I will do that and the minute my controller syncs up is I would select my profile. So the way the new PS5 user interface is divided is I would say pretty much into two sections. You got the game section at the top here and you have the media section. So these two sections you can access them by either pressing the L1 or R1 icon on your controller, on your DualSense controller. So let's start with the game side. So the game side it's really nice what the PS5 did in terms of the interface versus the PS4 is it made it a, like look next gen. It feels next gen. The way the graphics, what I really like is the transition between games. Now the box, like the, the graphics of the game take up the entire screen, which is really nice. So as I switch game, right? So from Spider-Man to Destruction All-Star, to Final Fantasy, to Control, to Astral's Playroom, to Maquette, to Spider-Man, you guys can see how the transition is done. It's really, really nice. It looks next gen, definitely versus the Xbox Series X or S uh, user interface. I really like what Sony did. The other thing you're going to notice on top here is the PlayStation Store icon. So for this generation, if you were to go over the PlayStation Store icon, boom, right away, it opens it up. You have access to the PlayStation Store right away. Versus on the PS4, you needed to click on the icon and, and it was almost like loading up an app. This, the PS Store, PlayStation Store icon is almost just part of the experience. And you can see on the top, you have different things to select from, right? You've got the latest, you got collections, you got deals, subscriptions, or you can just browse. So one thing, if you are a PS Plus owner and you have a PS5, you're gonna get what's called a PS Plus collection. So clicking on the PS Plus collection, let's take a look what games are inside. These are all free games that are gonna be given to you. So Crash Bandicoot, God of War, to name some, Resident Evil 7, uh, we got Battlefield, uh, Mortal Kombat, Days Gone, Detroit, uh, become human. These are all amazing games. Bloodborne, Until Dawn, The Last of Us Remastered, uh, you know, The Last Guardian. So these are just some games that come included on the PS Plus collection. If, obviously, you have PS Plus and you buy a PS5. So, yeah, it's really nice. The PlayStation Store is really, really intuitive. It's also very snappy. You guys can see how quickly everything loads up. And then you can also obviously search by PS5 games, PS4 games, free to play and VR. So that's for the PlayStation icon. And obviously you got your PlayStation Plus icon. It really depends if you're a user, but again, what's nice is that the icon just automatically works. You just go right over the icon and boom, you're thrown directly into the PS Plus interface without having to do anything, without having to load anything. So very, very quick, very snappy. The graphics are nice. The one thing I would have really liked is if PlayStation included more games uh, at the top of this list. What happens is that, you know, you only have like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, looks like seven, looks like seven games. And then the rest are inside your game library. So you guys can see here, you can obviously sort these games, but this is the rest of my PS4 slash PS5 game library. And again, super snappy. Everything runs really, really well. You guys can see my PS PlayStation collection is fairly large. Obviously, I got a huge game backlog, but uh, you know, obviously, home, uh, you know, work from home, COVID, uh, a lot more time on my hand to be trying out new games. So that's on the game side. If I were to click now on the right button, you go into the media section. So the media section, what I have installed right now is Netflix, YouTube, and Prime Video. Because obviously I have a YouTube account, I have a Netflix account, I have also a Prime Video account. But this PlayStation gives you obviously different options in terms of media consumption. These are just some examples. You got Disney Plus, you got DAZN, uh, Apple TV. Uh, so these are all different types of, you know, these are all different types of uh, media consumption apps that you're able to download. And it's nice the PlayStation actually gives you a couple options as well. Uh, in terms of some recommended feeds 
depending on the media app that you have. So that's for the games, that's for the media. Maybe one other thing is up here, you have like your search and your settings option. So if I click to settings, nothing drastically changed much from the PS4. You still have your user guide, accessibility, user and account, system storage, sound, screen and video. Uh, one thing you want to make sure is obviously in your video output is that you're you know selected to the right resolution of your TV. You want to make sure that if you have HDR that it's activated and if you're using 4K that you are using that resolution as well. And in terms of storage, well here you're able to see the storage space. So the PS5, uh, like you guys probably know, comes with an 825 gigabyte SSD internal storage. So that gives you a good idea of where I'm standing. So right now I have about 101.7 gigabytes of space left, probably enough for one or two more games. Um, so that's pretty much it on the settings side. And maybe the last thing is there's this new option. If you were to press the, the PS button, it opens up this bottom tab, which either makes you go, it's like almost like a quick, uh, quick tab, makes you select the home button, uh, select music, sound, mic if you want to mute or unmute the mic on your PS5 controller. And you also have an accessory one. So let's say we click on the wireless controller and go to the controller settings. We can now from here, you know, adjust automatically the volume for the speaker controller. You can also adjust the vibration intensity, either strong, medium or weak. Trigger effect, strong, medium or weak. Brightness, this is the LED on the dual sense controller you can select you want it bright or medium or dim and of course the communication method if you're going to be in wireless mode it's going to be running in bluetooth so the last thing is to look at the bottom the wireless controller device software you want to make sure that you're using the latest software this is 0210 typically when you get your new ps5 uh, there will be a wireless update for your controller if you were to buy a spare controller as well there will be a wireless controller device software update that will happen so let's come out of that let's i want to show you guys speed now uh let's say loading up a brand new game let's go to spider-man miles morales just to give you guys a sense how long it would take to cold boot a game so now what we're gonna wait for is the there you go main screen just loaded up x let's select the first one and continue so this is the beauty of the ssd you're thrown back into gameplay super fast and that's it that was fairly quick, right? I'm running now at 60 frames per second, 4K. Uh, and that was pretty quick. So again, let me come out of that game. And let me show you guys if I were to start a brand new other game. So obviously if I re-select on Spider-Man Miles Morales, I get thrown back into this one. But if I were to select a different game, so let's say the other Spider-Man remastered version. I'm pretty sure it'll probably take approximately the same time. Loading screen, Sony Interactive Entertainment presents. This is obviously PlayStation Studios, since it's Insomniac who made this game. There you go, PlayStation Studios. Insomniac. There's your Marvel comics. And boom, Spider-Man Remastered. Let's select the game, continue. And boom, so that, like the loading screen is almost non-existent. So again, I am running, uh, this is the remastered version of the Spider-Man game. It is at 4K uh, and 60, uh, 60 frames per second. So that's pretty quick. So the last thing, let me go back to the home button again. Uh, there's one more thing I wanna show you guys is that right now, when you click on a game and you scroll down, you're now gonna have what's called activities. So let's say there's a specific section of a game that you wanna do. So let's say the Astros Playroom, the Frigid Foes, and I press square to play. So now you have these activity cards, which let you automatically get thrown into an achievement that maybe you haven't done yet, or in a trophy you haven't done yet, and boom, you're thrown directly back into that section uh, of the game. So that's pretty cool that Sony did that. So these are called activity cards. 
So that is new for the, the PS5. Let's say I want to do Ashes Playroom. Uh, I want to play the Ray Trace Room section. I press on this. Boom, starts to load up. And again, pretty quick, you know, all things considered. Compared to last gen, that's for sure. And then boom, I'm thrown exactly into that section. So the GPU jungle, ray trace runes, and I can just start and begin playing exactly exactly this section of the game. So that's a nice thing. I haven't really utilized it much yet, but it does make it really nice. You don't need to load the game to select a specific section in the game. So the last thing I want to do, guys, is do a cold reboot again. Let's go select power, gives you the three options, enter rest mode, turn off PS5, or restart PS5. Let's do a restart PS5. Beautiful graphics, just showing you how it turns off. And let's take a look at how long it would take for a cold restart to happen. I can hear the PlayStation loading up. There is the PlayStation icon. See important health and safety warnings in the menu. It's going to prompt me. There it is. Press the PS button. Done. And boom. Select my user interface. And there you go. I'm back in. So that's it, guys, for today. That's the video. Uh, PlayStation 5 user interface. Like, subscribe, leave some comments. If you have any questions, guys, or any recommendation on another video you guys would like to see, let me know. Share this video, hit the not notification bell, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have yourself a great day, have yourself a great night, and stay safe out there. Cheers.